Hi everyone, we're going to add this little timestamp to our video so it gets burnt in when it's exporting. There's a couple of ways of doing it, and why would you do it? You might prefer this way when you're dealing with other stakeholders of your video, other editors, clients, so when they have amends they know exactly to say, hey, at 4 seconds, 14 frames, there's this thing I want changed. It's also really useful when you're working with clients and you want to get paid. Okay, so you can send them instead of a low res version of your video, you send them a timestamp one. It's kind of like watermarking without being watermarky. And as part of your brief early on, you explain that as part of the process, once final payment has been made, you will deliver the unwatermarked version. Make it clear at the beginning so they can't go and use it without paying their final invoice. Either way, let me show you how to add a time code. All right, to add our time code, let's do it via export first. So let's go, make sure you've got a sequence selected. Command M, Control M, you're sick of that shortcut, aren't you? Um, <laughs> uh, in here, switch over to effects, okay, and scroll down until you find the one that says time code. That's it, pretty much. You can move it around. There's a bunch of presets of where you want it. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to bottom center. Size. Opacity does the background color. Watch this. You can't really change the font or the background color using this method. You can offset the frames. Maybe you want it to start at a certain time. Watch this. You want to start at, say, one second. You can say 25 frames. That's where it starts. So it starts at one second. Or set that back to zero. You can, down here, you can start the time code at a certain time. You might decide that it is starting at two seconds. And works from there. Because it might be part of a, like a larger project. This is just a section of it. I don't want that at all. I want mine to start at zero. And I hit export, and it's burnt in. Good to go. One other way of doing it is you can actually, it's an effect in here in the effects panel. Okay, type in time code. Now it's in the obsolete. I'm not going to cover it much, but know that you know, it might disappear, but it's a way of kind of affect, you know, applying it not during export, but actually in the process of this. So you can add it here, okay, and you've got your controls over this side. But again, I'm not sure why, but uh, Premiere Pro have decided that's obsolete and it's going to maybe disappear in the future. But have a play around with it if you prefer this method. Either way, you're going to have a time code burnt in, smushed into that export video to make it a little easier with working with the stakeholders of your video and to make sure that you get paid. All right, that's it. Let's get on to the next video.